I want a garden this year, it's time to make a plan and start some seeds. Number 76. Starting seeds for the garden. Mid-March 2024. I checked on the garden on my way home from the dentist and the garlic and onions are looking strong. Grass was poking through in a few places though. I'll have to do some weeding soon. The beds I didn't mulch and fall are more lawn than beds at the moment. I'll figure that out very soon. Flowers, surviving crops and weeds are everywhere, but not today. It's late and I want to walk. Another sunny day, another walk with Pepper. The sun's still out, so we're gonna check on the morals again and hopefully this time we'll actually find some. There are so many catkins all over all the water in this forest. There's so much of it. We walked past my favorite trace of the way. I love how they lean on each other. Pepper is fully recovered and happily exploring again. And suddenly I'm no longer surprised so many cat kids there are in all the waterways here. They just fall all the time. Cluck, 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 cluck. You can hear them everywhere. It's so cool. A few weeks ago, when I went for a walk while sick with the flu, these two trees almost defeated me. Pepper would have preferred to go around, but could not find another way, so he did it too. The next morning. I'd been eagerly waiting to start my seeds for the garden for a month now. It's finally time. I was in a good mood all morning. Marvin kneaded the bread dough while I cleaned the air fryer and took care of the dishes. We quit Spotify a while back and it took a while to get all our CDs digitized and the system figured out. But now I could finally listen to my music. I love music and, well, bad dancing. While the bread was rising and the dishwasher noise polluting the kitchen, I got started on seats. I'd gotten some gardening supplies for my birthday and Christmas. This tray looked most promising. The plan for the day was to start the peppers and tomatoes. I'll need to start more soon, but wanted an easy start. Thinking about all the things I need to do stresses me out, so I try my best not to overwhelm my brain. So I set out to start some peppers and chili. Okay, a lot of peppers and chili. I double seeded everything, so two seeds per pot. We'll see how many plants I get. I have pots to move them to until they are ready to go in the garden beds. After filling the rest of the tray with some tomatoes, I plugged in the grow lights. Hopefully, these seedlings will be happy here in my room. Last year we started the seeds in the living room, but that's not an option this time around. I moved my books away from the water I'll surely spill here. I'll have to find a different spot for the books I wrote. We have these grow lamps in most rooms by now. Winters here are too dark for most plants.
I'm not yet convinced by this watering well thing. It was part of my gifts, but it feels inefficient. I will probably switch to my spray bottle and pass this to someone else. But it worked. The seats were in. Everything was labeled. Now I have to wait. I'd been staring at two unhappy plants for weeks now. One was slowly recovering. As the plants seemed to want to stand on their own again, I removed the thread I'd added. Yeah, not pretty, but they are getting better. I could not say the same for the second one. This one was all the way dead, including a rotten stem. This one will join the ginormous pile of soil and compost on my balcony. I'll have to carry all of this to the garden. Speaking of the garden, a sunny afternoon in the garden brought a lot of progress. More on that next time. So long and thanks for being here. If you want to support the channel, go to rootsandcalluses.com support.